I want to welcome you, and I want to tell you that it was such a joy to find out that you wanted to have a baptism, and that, yes, it's a little bit of a risk, but we've done yeah. everything to clean everything up. But this is so important, and so I thank you very much for the honor of baptizing Ethan. Brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated into Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the Spirit. All this is God's gift, offered to us without price. Yeah. Who presents this child yeah. to be baptized? Yeah. So who's the friend of God? The vows of Christian baptism have consisted first of the renunciation of all that is evil and then the profession of faith and loyalty to Christ. As parents and sponsors of Ethan Charles Monroe and on behalf of the whole church, I ask you, do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sins? If so, please answer we do. Do you accept the freedom and power God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? If so, please answer, we do. And I'm, I'm taking that Ethan does too. <laughs> do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in his grace and promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church which Christ has opened to all people of all ages, nations, and races? If so, please answer, we do. <coughs> Will you nurture this child in Christ's holy church that by your teaching and example he may be guided to accept God's grace for himself to profess his faith openly and lead a Christian life. If so, please answer, we will. Will you who sponsor Ethan, and that would be the godparents, support and encourage him in his Christian life? If so, please answer, we do. And then to the congregation, and that's Susan and Hyde. Do you, as Christ's sponsor of the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? If so, please answer, we do. We do. And with God's help, we, we will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround Ethan with a community of love and forgiveness that he may grow in his trust of God and be found faithful in his service to others. We will pray for him that he may be a true disciple who walks in the way that leads to life. The Lord be with you. And also with you. And let us pray. Pour out your Holy Spirit to bless this water and Ethan who will receive it, to wash away sin and clothe him with righteousness throughout his life, that dying and being raised with Christ, he may share in his final victory. All I'll praise to you, you, eternal Father, in the Son Jesus Christ, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and lives forever. Amen. Amen. And the thing about baptism is it's ordinary water that I have gone back on.
I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome into the United Methodist Church. You are a beautiful child of God. Do you want to touch the water? You can touch it.